Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are playing Pokemon The New Order, a new Pokemon fan game where you play as the evil team. Let's get into it. Starting things off, you are greeted by your commander who tells you about Team Cypher, the new evil team that you are a part of and that they specialize in steel, electric and psychic type Pokemon. Next up, you come up onto the screen and you have to start picking your name. It's basically just a rocket grunt with some new clothes, but still looks pretty cool, I would have to say. Uh, next up, you enter the kind of lobby situation. I don't know, there's like a bunch of new recruits and of course you are one of them. And he's basically just telling you about how you rank up and stuff in the system. Next up, we have to choose our starter Pokemon and they give us the options of Clink, which is obviously a Steel type. They give us Magnemite, which is an electric Steel type. And then they also give you Bronzor, which is Steel Psychic. I decide to go with Magnemite. I just feel like Electric is going to be very, very useful. Next up, we have to go try out our new Pokemon and go into this battle place. And there's just some random guy there and he's like, just show me what you got. And honestly, already the game is very, very difficult. Like, this is a really, really tough fan game. And you have no potions at the start and they just have two Pokemon that you have to fight. Obviously, you've kind of got the upper hand because you're a Steel type. But it still gets really difficult. So anyway, I take out the Rattata and then he also has a Grimer as well. We take that out. I get 55 XP. I only survive on 3 HP. Like I say, no potions at the start of the game. After that battle, we have to go back and report to our commander who will basically tell us our first mission and then what we have to do. He then tells us the different kind of places that we can go in the actual facility. We've got this little healing station here, which is quite useful. And then there's going to give us five Pokeballs as well because we need to go out and catch more Pokemon. You can't steal Pokemon in this game, which is a little bit unfortunate. But either way, he then says that we have to go to the fourth floor on the elevator and then go uh, north. And then we have to go through this cave and stuff. So anyway, I decide to heal my Pokemon. And that's exactly what we go and do. So we go into the elevator. We go to the fourth floor. Come out of Cypher Inc. It's just this random building just in the middle of nowhere. But apparently it's still... No one's kind of raising suspicion at it. And after that, we start exploring. So I go up and then we there's like wild encounters and stuff. And honestly, I, I needed to stock up on potions because I realized, oh, wait, I've got nothing to heal with. And so I go back, I buy five potions or six potions, should I say. And then I also buy uh, five Pokeballs. And then my money's a little bit low, but I'm kind of stocked up now. And next up, you have to battle a bunch of trainers and you finally get into this cave called Mosswell Cave. And there's a couple of grunts in here already. We're trying to find these fossils. That's basically the first mission briefing. I find a potion here. After that, we run into this Rattata and I, I take that out. But honestly, like, I, I don't want to say anything bad about this fan game because it's actually a really fun game. But I feel like the people that made it definitely made the RNG. Like, they made the chance of, like, crits, missing moves and stuff. I don't know if it's possible to change that in a fan game. But if it is, they definitely did it in this game. Honestly, the amount of times I missed moves, I got critted, I got paralyzed, burned, frozen, put to sleep. Like, honestly, it was ridiculous. Like, I've never been so, so unlucky in a Pokemon game. Anyway, we get ourselves through the cave and then we basically find these ladders. We all jump down into Mosswell Cave BF1. And basically, there's just like this guy and we think that he's found the fossils. And so we need to go and basically rob him. But then I actually run into a timber and I'm like, okay, I should probably catch a Pokemon now because I'm still only rocking my level 8 Magnemite. So I do catch the timber. I do paralyze it with a Thundershot, which I actually wasn't expecting because I didn't get lucky at all in this game. And uh, yeah, we run into the hiker and he's like, I'm not giving this away. You can try if you want, but it ain't going anywhere. And he does lead with a Machop. There's a lot of fighting and fire type Pokemon in this game as well, which obviously combat your steel type, which, you know, isn't fun at all. We do manage to take the Machop out, though. I get a nice little bit of XP. I'm level nine. We're loving life. And uh, I'm very, very close to a uh, Sonic Boom now. And that's the reason I chose Magnemite, because I felt like Sonic Boom is just always nice to have. It's like a... It's just a mini Dragon Rage. Obviously, the accuracy isn't great. I, don't know, I think it's like 80, 90%. And I found that out the hard way in this game. Anyway, he, he comes out with a Sandshrew. I do take it out. Obviously, I'm still paralyzed, which wasn't great. We get to level 8. Timber doesn't learn a, a fighting type move until level 12, which is really annoying. I didn't realize that until I'd already caught it. But anyway, we beat the Hiker. He goes off and we actually find ourselves with this uh, item. And they're all like, you know, we're, we're really lucky about this. You know, we're going to get promoted. And then we find out that it's not actually a fossil. I go up to the item and it turns out it's just a leaf stone. Which, you know, you can still sell for a little bit of moolah. Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad thing at all. Anyway, we exit the, the cave kind of ladders. And everyone's at the top. And everyone's like, okay, I'm going to go back. But then you've got this guy on the left. And he's like, nah, man, I'm going to impress the squad. I'm going to go further on. And so I also follow. 
follow him and we go deeper into the cave and there's just more ladders that we have to kind of go through more trainers and stuff that we have to battle and then i run into this guy and bro i don't know why they gave this guy an onyx but they did and i don't have any fighting type pokemon i've not come across any fighting types grass types water types or anything like that and i've looked in the grass, in the cave, there are no, like, apart from timber, there's no other fighting types and stuff, so, I guess you just have to grind timber up a ton, but, uh, I didn't do that, I'm still only level 8, so, he does, uh, come out with the Dwebble, I did just kill it with a Bide, which I got very, very lucky with, but, uh, he does kill me, um, unfortunately, we got so close to beating this battle, and I was, like, a little bit worried, like, oh my god, what happens if you lose, it's just completely game over, but it's not, you just go back to the Pokemon Center, but it was very close to beating the Dwebble, but uh, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. So we scurry back to the Pokemon Center. And then I run all the way back to the Hiker guy. I'm like, okay, this time I'm not going to lose. I've not got a paralyzed team this time. Yada, yada, yada. I have to do the exact same tactic. I just have to bide with uh, my my fighting type. Just because I've, I've got no other fighting type moves. That's all Timber can really do. Can't really touch it with Magnemite. Because I've only got a, an electric type move and tackle. So bide is literally my best way of doing this. He goes for curse and stuff, and I'm like, bro, just hit me. I just need you to tackle me or something just so I can do some damage. And he goes for a bind, which isn't the greatest move in the world. Uh, but we do luckily take out the Onyx. Timber's very, very low on health, though, because he did go for a couple of rock throws or something like that and just completely annihilated me. I do learn Sonic Boom at level 11, which I was very, very happy with. He then comes in with the Dwebble once again, and I never thought I would find so much trouble battling a Dwebble. I go for a Sonic Boom. It lives on, like, four or something, or whatever, is very, very low, and then he hits me with the Rock Blast, and hits four times, kills my Magnemite, and then I come in with Timber, and I'm like, okay, we should be fine, you know, Timber should outspeed a small bug with a massive rock on its back, but apparently not, Timber was not fast today at all, got absolutely annihilated by another Rock Blast, and I bloody lost to this hiker again, I'm like, bro, this is gym leader or something, this is just a random trainer by the way, and I've already lost twice to him, I couldn't believe how unlucky I was getting, I was just getting destroyed by this guy, so third time lucky, I rock back up to this hiker, I'm like, bro, this time, I'm not losing. And uh, luckily, we did win this time. But yeah, I mean, I didn't even get RNG'd in this battle. But as I was saying earlier, like I say, especially with moves like Sonic Boom and stuff, like if if the move has a chance to miss, it will just miss in this game. Like... It, it's, it was crazy how unlucky I was getting, but I don't know if they've changed the kind of RNG. I don't know if you can in fan games. I've never gone into, like, detail and trying to make one myself. But if you can change the RNG, like, the crit chance or the miss chance or whatever, like, honestly, they've, they've changed it in this game. It is, it's been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, anyway, we luckily take out the Dwebble, though. He goes for a Fury Cutter. Obviously, he gets a crit. As I said, it happens a lot in this game. And uh, we, we do take it out. And I can finally get past this Hiker, who just felt like the champion of this game. and just would not die. just would not lose to me. Um, so yeah, luckily, we beat him, get our money back, and we carry on. Anyway, after a while, we finally make our way up here. And there's this scientist here. He's like, I found the fossils. We're chilling. You can take them. Don't worry about it. And then the other grunt kind of comes up and he's like, all right, sweet. You found him. Nice. Cool. I'm going to go get some boys and I'm going to get some squad. Don't lose them. Just whatever you do, just stay with the fossils. So I go down because, you know, I just wanted to kind of have a look what was going on. And I bloody find Kian and he's just the protagonist of the story. I, I guess he's, you have to lose this battle. He literally leads with a level 23 Combuskin. And I thought to myself, Nah, there's, there's no way you win this battle. Luckily, you don't. But this is literally the worst possible Pokemon for me to go up against. He's got a Combuskin, just embers. My Magnemite obviously sends me to the Shadow Realm. There's no way I'm surviving that. I then come up with a Timber. Obviously, like, there's no way. I'm, I think he goes for, like, a Peck or an Ember. It doesn't even matter. He can just breathe at me and I'm gonna like, like I'm gonna die it's just that much higher level than me is ridiculous anyway we do lose to Kian I lose money as well which I'm like that's a bit BS like I can't win that fight anyway we go back up to the scientist because the protagonist beats the scientist as well robs those fossils and then in come the grunts and they're like we brought the back up don't worry about it and he's like hang on a minute where are them bloody fossils at so everyone's pissed off at me for losing to some godlike trainer and they're all like getting worried they're like oh no the, the, the evil team's going to kick us out. We can't get demoted anymore. We're going to get fired. We're going to lose our jobs. So we go back to HQ. Anyway, the commander then comes up to me to ask me a little bit more inf information about what happened. Because obviously I'm the only one that battled him apart from the scientist. Talked to him about the Combuskin, that this trainer was just ridiculous. And he's like, okay, that information's actually kind of cool. Don't worry about it. Go and see the boss. Go and tell the boss. And I'm like, bro, I'm just a rookie. I shouldn't be talking to the boss i shouldn't even be in the presence of the boss but he's like nah go go see him go say hello so we've got to go down to b4 floor and uh we have to go talk to the boss and he's got his rookies here he's like you ain't getting in there 
and then the, the boss is like, nah, let him through. So we've got the boss here. I thought it was going to be Giovanni or something, but no, it's just some random dude. And he's basically asking about the trainer that I that I fought, and that he's saying, okay, he's got a Combuskin. That's a very rare Pokemon. It's the Professor's fault. Not happy about this. The Professor's trying to get these trainers to take out the organization and stuff. And so uh, next up, we, this guy comes in, um, Sharon, and then it becomes clear that we're kind of in cahoots with other evil teams which is pretty cool and we've got like a two-sided partnership and we have to help them and they help us and basically my next mission is to go and help them and this mission is tough man like this is this is hard so i have to go south to route 18 and find my way down to the new town where basically the team is and they're waiting for me and then that's where the mission starts and i find a bell sprout i'm like all right you know, grass type will be kind of useful. It's poison as well. It's going to be useful for fighting types. So I'm going to grab that. Obviously, I've got a massive fire weakness, but it is what it is. Uh, next up, we just battle this trainer. Like, there's about 10 trainers on this route, which is kind of useful because you really need the XP. But at the same time, they're just... It's a bit annoying because you're just trying to get to the town and there's just like trainers all over the shop. Uh, we then come to this trainer here. And this is a this is a strong dude. He's like, bro, I'm, I'm seeking a worthy enemy. And he's not lying. He's got a Scyther. And uh, it's not the worst thing in the world because obviously I'm an electric type. I felt like if I chose Bronzor or Clink, then we wouldn't be in a great position here. But I do have Thundershock, so we're all right. And that's exactly what I go for. He goes for the quick attack. Doesn't do much to me because I'm a bloody Magnemite. Taking it like a champ. I go for the Thundershock. We, uh, we go for another one. We take out the Scyther after he quick attacks me again. But this guy's second Pokemon, of course, it's a uh, it's a fire type. He actually brings in a Ponyta. So Magnemite, not happy about that at all. I think I do get a Thundershock off. I, I somehow do. I don't know how. And then we come in with the Timber and I, I get a crit or something and take out the, uh, the Ponyta. And we shoot up to level 10 on Timber and I defeat the trainer. And I'm like, this item better be good for all that. And we actually get some cheeky leftovers. And I'm like, okay, that's all right. Anyway, we make it down to a Teemo town and the Galactic Grunts are welcoming me into the town and they're just basically briefing us in the mission and saying look go to this building we're going to tell you about it and that's exactly what i do i go heal my pokemon i go to this building they're all in here chilling and he's basically saying okay what you got to do now is you've got to dress up as a policeman and then you got to go into the police office and then you've got to turn off the alarms for this place and then we can rob it so they're just chilling there and i've got to do all these different things and i'm like bro what are you talking about so anyway i go right from this town and there's a couple of trainers here you know saying you know get out of the way you're gonna get hit and i come up to this cave now I'm pretty sure there is no way to get Flash in this game so far. So I thought this was really, really annoying because basically they just drop you in this cave where you have no idea where you're going. You can't buy repels. Like I went to the market, there was no repels or anything. And you're just left to run around this cave, not being able to see anything, not knowing where to go. And that's it. And there's just trainers in there. There's wild battles. Like I say, there's no repels. So after running around for like 10 minutes, which got really, really annoying, I finally found the way out at the top of Mount Avo. Um, and dude, honestly, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to say anything bad, but unless there's a way to get Flash, which I couldn't find, I don't know why that cave is in the game. Like, it is so, so annoying to kind of get through. Anyway, we find the policeman. We had to basically lure him to this cave and then just give him a distress signal so we could just... I guess rob him and that's exactly what I have to do because he's a policeman though he has a bloody Growlithe fire type not great for me so I send him a Magnemite and uh, yeah this thing's obviously got Ember and stuff he's got Intimidate not great at all we do take out the Growlithe and then of course he has a bloody Machop as well like a fire fighting Pokemon that are obviously both good against my Steel type the game designer knew what they were doing they were like okay what's good against Steel all right put a lot of them in the game and he also has a bloody Herdier as well Luckily, I do get past it with uh, some low kicks and stuff. He does go for a bite, obviously gets the flinch. I think he flinched me like two or three times in a row. Uh, and I was like, I'm going to lose on it if he flinches me again. But luckily, I survive on two and I do get a low kick off. Take out the Herdia. We are leveling up Timber now as well. Obviously, having low kick was so, so useful because there are a couple of normal types in this game as well. We do beat the policeman. He's like, you're not getting away with this, but we do get away with it. We basically take him out. We knock him out. We rob his ID card. We rob his clothes. The clothes are too big for me, though, but I do get the policeman ID. And uh, after that, you have to run all the way back through the cave. There is no way of getting back to the town. It doesn't teleport you there automatically or anything like that. You just have to run straight back through this cave. Luckily, I kind of remembered the way out, but it was still really, really annoying because you don't have repels. Like, if you could buy repels, it'd be fine, but you can't, which makes it bad. <laughs> anyway, after that, we have to go report back to the Galactic Grunts, talk to him about how the, the basically the clothes won't fit, but the ID works, and he's basically saying, all right, you're just going to have to act like you're an undercover cop. 
and then when you go to police force office you just have to say that you are the the original guy i think he's like called mark or something anyway we go to the reception and he's uh saying oh it's bloody mark how you doing gone doesn't bat an eyelid or anything just say he's a secret mission and then boom you, you, you're in there so uh, we also have to rescue a couple of grunts as well so we go down here there's a grunt in prison and there's this police officer guarding him of course policeman rob also has a growl if there are so many fire types it is annoying bro like just give me, like, a Pokemon that I'm good against. Like, I, literally none. So, uh, we do have to take out this Growlithe. I do go for the Thundershock. I do get a cheeky crit, though. Like I say, the RNG is all over the place. The crits, the misses, they are left, right, and center. And I'm trying to learn Magnet Bomb now, which is also very nice for those pesky rock types if I do get stuck in another cave. So, I do get rid of Supersonic. By the way, Supersonic, in this game, I think I used it about seven times. Not even lying, didn't hit one. I couldn't believe how... I mean, I know it's, like, 55% accuracy, but I was, like... That is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, we do take out the Poochiena as well. Luckily, no uh, other horrible fighting types with uh, with Policeman Rob. We do take him out. We knock him out. Give him a good old bash on the back of the head. And uh, we do set the uh, the Galactic Grunt free. And we have to then go to the PC and kind of go across to the mainframe and just disable the lasers and stuff and disable the alarm. So we get through the, uh, the, the door. And then, of course, the PC is just ahead. We go up there, and then we have to access the database. I have to do the alarm links, the warehouse, the gym, the Pokemon. I go into the warehouse, but I need the bloody police chief's password. So I have to go defeat him. In here he is, Mr. Police Chief himself, chilling. I think he's on his break or something. But anyway, we get into the battle. Uh, the Police Chief Grant does lead with a Timber, so obviously another fighting type. Every single police officer in this game obviously has a fire or a fighting type, because that's just how it goes. Um, we do luckily take it out. I wasn't really too scared about this thing that much, to be fair. Luckily, he just went for a Focus Energy. Also has a Herdier as well. Goes for the Bite. Um, I need to just go for the Low Kicks now to, now to just take out the Herdier. I would love, like, Karate Chop or something, because Low Kick is only really useful if there's a heavy pokemon and none of these pokemon are heavy like they're all pretty light but anyway we do take out the herd here it also has a pidgeotto as well so luckily magnemite can bloody take someone out he's finally a, a weak pokemon to electric types i couldn't believe my luck we do take out the magnemite get a nice fat 392 xp very very happy about that and then we basically just knock out the police chief again no one shouts for help literally you battle them and then you just clobber them in the back of the head and they're knocked out cold so anyway i steal the password i access the database i also wanted to kind of look at the criminal database as well and try and erase it but you need the animist and administrator codes for that which was a little bit annoying but anyway we disable the alarms and then we go back to the galactic grunts and we tell them that we've done it the alarms disabled they're ready to go let's rob this joint so after that we basically just have to get to the end of the the kind of building which i just do like there's just a bunch of random npcs as well like kind of people that work here that you do have to battle through which again i'll take the xp man this battle that's coming up bro it is ridiculous like this is this just this battle coming up not this one but the one after the but the big boss battle of the mission bro it is ridiculous so anyway we have to fight this guy as well he's still not the boss it's just like a bunch of random npcs cowboy or something i don't know what he's doing in this place but does have a nuzleaf again not really a massive problem i can easily take it down um i'm just i'm just trying to get all the xp that i possibly can i'm level 19 so i'm thinking to myself okay i'm pretty high leveled here i'm i'm, I'm absolutely chilling and then we go into here and uh this guy he's like bro that old guy up there pff, he's he's got something about him and he does have something about him i go and talk to him i, I just heal up my team i'm like this is going to be a walk in the park let me just heal everyone easy no problem at all and uh let's let's fight him he's got three pokemon and they are three Pokemon that I was not happy to fight in the slightest. To be fair, his first Pokemon isn't too bad. He does lead with a Lillipup, which is fine. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. But this, it has Aerial Ace. I don't even know that Lillipup got Aerial Ace. So obviously Timber is not a very good option for it. Can't low kick it when he's Aerial Ace in me. So I do take it out with Magnemite. And then he brings in a Nidorino, which I'm, okay, that's not too bad. Has bloody Earth Power. What? Why do you have Earth Power? And he's Life Orb. Life Orb Earth Power. What is surviving that on my team? Nothing. Nothing is surviving a life orb, earth power boosted attack. Ridiculous. Uh, I also caught an Oddish as well at some point. I don't know if I included that in the video. It's just random Pokemon that I was catching. Uh, I do revive Magnemite thinking that I might just have gotten lucky. Nope, just destroys me from full health. So I lose the battle and I'm thinking to myself, bro, I don't even see what the third Pokemon is yet. That Nidorino is impossible to beat. So I need to go catch some more Pokemon just so I can use them as death fodder. Just so I can heal up my other Pokemon. 
Because there is a basically a market in this town where you can buy fresh waters. And that's literally what I spent all my money on. So I find a lily pup. I find a Maril as well. And I catch both of those just so I can easily switch into them. And I can heal up my team. Because the main Pokemon that I'm going to be using are Magnemite and Timber. Like They're the only Pokemon that can really do anything against the Nidorino. Probably just Timber really because Magnemite just gets destroyed. After that we run back to the old guy. And I'm thinking this time, this time we're going to beat him. You know, I'm prepared. I leveled up a tiny bit as well. I think I got to like level 20 on my Magnemite. We're absolutely chilling. So he, uh, he leads with the Lily Pup again. He also has a potion as well. And uh, Citrus Berries on all of his Pokemon. If it, if you wanted uh, any more reasons as to why this battle was super difficult. So he, send, he sends out the Lily Pup. I do take it out. And, and then I go into my Maril just so I can heal up my Pokemon. And it's actually Water Shadow type. I don't know why. But uh, I then go into my uh, Timber. He goes for the Thunderbolt. Paralyzes me. And I get paralyzed. So I just think to myself, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, that's a wrap. I'm not getting that unlucky. Let's just reload it. Because I just saved it right outside here. I just kept battling. I think it generally took me like six tries to beat this guy. And I'm not even blowing that out of proportion. He was difficult to beat. So, yeah, after that paralysis um, from the Thunderbolt. 10% chance of then getting paralyzed as well. Very unlucky, but it is what it is. So, I, I reload it. In comes the Lillipup again. No problem, really. The, the Lillipup's fine for Magnemite. Although, it does have Fire Fang, which is also great. Anyway, I finally take out the Nidorino by just literally healing up constantly and just letting itself die from life orb damage. And I learn Rock Throw here as well, and I'm like, oh, yes, finally. This third Pokemon cannot be that bad at all. We surely will get through this. And it's a, uh, it's it, you know, it's a chat up. So, I was thinking to myself, well, it's not too bad. Magnemite, easy. Thundershock, boom. No problem at all. So, I go into Magnemite. I'm just thinking that we've completed the mission now. There's no way I lose to a Chatot. It's level 60 and I've got four Mons left. Tell me why Chatot has Heat Wave. And also, tell me why he went for Heat Wave. The amount of times I battled him, he went for Heat Wave probably about eight times. Didn't miss one. Couldn't believe it. So, uh, I obviously have to go back and heal up because there ain't no way I'm beating a Heat Wave in Chatter. But anyway, we finally go back to Gentleman George and uh, we do eventually win. I literally just had to... It just sheer determination. Honestly, fresh water left, right, and center. Uh, we luckily took out the, uh, the the chat up with a couple of rock throws, and it went for heat wave on me instead of peck. And I did survive, and we did take out the chat up. And then he came in with his Nidorino as his last mon, and we do defeat Gentleman George. Bro, this battle was so annoyingly difficult. Like, there's no reason for it to be this difficult. But fair play. I mean, it made the game a lot harder. Like... I don't mind difficult battles. The only thing I do mind is going through a cave that you don't have flash for. Anyway, that guy just disappears and I have to go report back to the boss. So I find my way back to HQ, go up to the boss and I'm like, bro, I did it. And uh, he's saying congratulations on the job. He's just received a call. Said that I literally did nothing. And I was like, bro, are you kidding me? I did everything. I went and beat up a police officer. I rescued grunts. I disabled the lasers. I did all these things. But he's basically just saying, like, you know, congratulations and stuff like that. And uh, I decided to end it here just because I, I just lost the will to live against that last fight. And so, yeah, you can carry on. And there's, like, a legendary mission as well. So if you do want to play it, it will be linked in the description down below. But if you did enjoy the video, please do consider hitting the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. And until next time, peace.